Hello and welcome back. This is Samuel Haycock, uh, also known as Stick God, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial on how to basically display this on a basic web page. Um, so I'm going to start off by with the JavaScript um, by putting in a method that basically when the page loads, um, start off. So window dot on load um, equals loaded uh, basically tells it when the, when the window loads run this function then create a function called loaded now this isn't really necessary on this page it's just good practice as you'll want the page entirely to load before you run the javascript um okay so once it's loaded run set time basically run run that basically okay then create a function called set time and what we need to do in there is create a variable, call it current time, and have it equal a new date. So current time now holds a uh, basically holds date. That's a uh, the current date, whatever time it is at the, at the time the function loads. Um, then we need to make three more variables. So create one for um, hours. Uh, have it equal to current time dot get hours, which basically just returns a number for it. So it's all going to be in um, twenty-four hour clock style. Okay, now I'm going to have to copy this and paste it a few times because it, we also need to do the same for minutes and seconds. Right, and then once we have that done, basically I'm going to go back to this, delete everything inside of my paragraph, because we don't want the uh, number to be loading on top of that. Okay, then we create a variable, um, call it, okay, let's see, um, time holder. And we'll have it equal to. We need to basically um, get it to get that variable to hold this paragraph essentially. Um, document dot get element by ID. Um, the ID of that one is clock display. display okay and that should be that and then we have time holder dot text content equals okay in this point where we load in each one of these so first of all we need to load in hours uh, we need to have a colon in between. I'll have it in quotes because it's a string. Plus minutes. Plus another colon. Plus seconds. Semicolon. Save. Okay, now that should run. Um, Nope. Let's 
saved and this is saved okay try it again nope clock display hmm sorry just give me a second I'll check out my old JavaScript I had um content equals that does that does that Oh, okay. Now I get it. <laughs> I uh, didn't put this into quotes. And that was the problem. Okay, so... Um, now it should run. As you can see, there's clearly a problem here. It's only loading at 5. Because it's you know, 8 o'clock. We're only 5 minutes into it. And 44 seconds. So every time I refresh that, it should load again. But it still has a problem. It's uh, missing a zero. So I'm going to sort that in my next tutorial and also get it to refresh the page every second. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.